Hey everyone, how are you? Hopefully you're doing well. Today I wanted to do a slightly different video. I wanted to show you guys my Winx Club Believix doll since I really like the Winx Club and I was at the store and I thought to myself, why not? I kind of wanted to get some Monster High dolls and some Winx Club dolls and they look really similar to me, I like their bodies, the way that they're jointed and everything, so I thought to myself, you know what, I really like the Winx Club so I'll just get those and maybe eventually I'll have some Monster High dolls. I wanted to get Bloom, Stella, and Flora, or maybe all of them, but they only had Bloom, Stella, and Musa, so I picked those three up. And each doll comes with their Believix outfit, wings, and um, a hairbrush, and a little holographic card. Here's Musa's. And on the back, they have a little QR code, and you can go online and... I guess check that out, which I haven't done yet, which I don't even know if I will do, but there's Bloom's card, and here is Stella's card. And for lower price point dolls, I think that they are done really well. So here is a close-up of Stella's face. Here is Bloom's, who has sparkles everywhere, and Muse's. The only thing I wish that would have been done better, which I'm sure is really hard to do, especially for lower price dolls, is just get the hair a little better. Um, but it's a doll, so, you know, what are you going to do? Like, Mises, Ponytail, I wish, was kind of up more like that, because that's kind of how it is in the show. And then I believe Stella's pigtails uh, are probably, like, a little more pronounced or up like that more as well. But, you know, they're little uh, action dolls, so, yes. Anyway, here are their outfits. So each one has... Little shoes, Stella has her boots, Bloom has little heels, and Muse has little booties. Stella and Bloom have little socks or like little stockings. And then these two have skirts and little crop tops. And Musa has a little tights crop top and a little tie, which I kinda hate. And it's kind of like a dinky little piece of plastic that you can easily, easily pull right off. Um, I think when I opened her they were holding it down with like a little piece of plastic which I still have, but I kind of hate using these because that's how they hold them down in the boxes, and I feel like they're garbagey and there's no point in keeping it, but I've seen a lot of people use the plastic to like hold the shoes on and stuff, but I think they hold on pretty well. They don't stand very well. They're not really balanced for that. That's okay, though. They're cute sitting. I could always get a stand for them if I really wanted to, although I doubt I will. Here's a close-up of all of their wings, and they're just see-through. And they each have like a little pattern on them. Um, and they have sparkles all over, which I hate. So when I first opened them, I thought to myself, oh hey, the sparkles, they won't come off. They'll be good. And when I first opened them, I felt like they wasn't coming off. And then, what do you know, sparkles everywhere, which is my least favorite thing. But here is a close-up of Stella. And she's a little more tan than the other two. Um, and I think they look really cute, and if you wanted to play with them, you totally could, especially because they have this cool mechanic where if you kind of shake them a bit, their wings flutter, which is really cute and kind of adds more to the playability of them. And as you can see there, uh, you have her wing, and that actually pulls right out of the back, and she has a little um, shape in her back that is... Kind of like a puzzle piece that is perfect for taking out the wings. So you can share them with other dolls. And if they do release other wings, you can put those on them as well. And I might be wrong, but I feel like I've seen other wings. Here's Bloom up close. So with Bloom, they tied her little uh, hair down in front. And as you can see right there uh, on her shoulder, they it's hard to see. There we go. She has... Uh, little threads where I cut the hair off from her shoulders just because I felt like there was no point in keeping them attached to her arms. And I think it looks better kind of freestanding. Her hair, though, did kind of poof way, way out when I brushed it. So be careful when you brush them. Otherwise, you'll poof their hair out. That's also kind of why Stella's pigtails are more poofy. And then we have Musa, who I don't love, but she... Uh, She's not my least favorite character. I really feel like I kind of like them all anyway, so. But um, her hair did not brush. A fear of it poofing. Here's Musa, her little tie and her little outfit. And she has a little cute, like, side skirt thing going on. 
And as far as like posability and everything, I feel like they pose quite well. They sit well, and you can move their arms a little bit um, back and forth, and their wrists move, and their legs move up and down like that. So um, you can also tilt their heads a bit and move those around. They don't have any joints in their body, so you can't like move their bodies around, but their legs, neck, and arms and hands are jointed. Um, and I believe you can also move, which is going to be hard to show you guys. Yeah, you can move their uh, legs a little bit back and forth. So if you kind of just turn their leg a bit, I believe there's a joint in there that lets you move. I'm sorry, I'm like moving the camera all around, but here they are. I don't think I'll be getting any more, but if I do, sorry, that was an email. But if I do... I will show you in a video, otherwise I will continue to watch The Wings Club and continue to laugh and enjoy it and whatever, and as cheesy as I think it is, for whatever reason I will always love it, probably because it reminds me of Sailor Moon, which was one of my first favorite shows. So, yes. Anyway, have a great day guys, enjoy, if you want these Wings Club dolls, you can get them from Target like I did, Walmart carries them, Toys R Us, and probably just about any other toy store you can think of, or go to Amazon, they carry them. I know. Some places are selling a few of the dolls for more, like Musa, Tecna, and Aisha, since I believe, and maybe even Flora, because I believe they're a little rare. I think Bloom is going to be the cheapest, since she's pretty much sold everywhere, and Stella, I think, is maybe the second easiest to find. So if you go on a website like Target or Walmart or something like that, I feel like the price should be uniform or Toys R Us, but if you go on Amazon, it could be a little more expensive for one of these girls or even eBay. Um, oh, and one last thing before I go, for real, um, Bloom does come in three other variations from Comic-Con. She comes in an all blue, a silver, and a gold. Gold is the most rare, silver is next, and blue is next. So these dolls will cost anywhere between, I think, like 30-something or 40-something dollars, all the way up, I think I saw, to like well over $500 maybe for the gold because it's super rare. Um, I could be wrong. I haven't checked the price in a while, but yes. So if you would like one of those, you can check those out on eBay. Otherwise, I feel like they're not really selling them any places anymore. They did sell them at Toys R Us, but I believe they're probably sold out by now. Anyway, that is all for real. Have a great day, guys, and enjoy. Bye.